shit, man. When you gonna do another shit show? When you gonna get another project to work on? I got it, I got it, I got it. Check this one out, guys. Check this thing out. Come on in. Look at this. This has got the original Uniroyal tires on it. Look at them, they're falling apart. What this is, is a 1973 first year for the Federal mandated five mile an hour impact bumpers, Oldsmobile Cutlass. Four door, it's the colonnade style, based on the A body platform. And uh, yeah, vinyl tops falling off of. This thing's got 10,000 actual miles on it, a little bit over. You now, just drug it in, it barely runs, and we're gonna get started on it here in a little bit, but right now we're gonna wash it. And, you know, in the past, the shed man always, what's it got in it? What's it got in it? Well, it's a slant six. Oh. Well, it's a slant four, like in the Scout. Oh. Well, well okay. Ain't gonna be no all oh, this time. Yeah, you know, could have had a 350. Well, let me tell you something. Hold up. What's it got in it, Shed Man? 455. Newt, newt. 455. Four barrel. This is the single exhaust. It's not the dual exhaust. And uh, those have a little bit more horsepower. But yes, it's a 455. It's got air conditioning. I'm hoping that it worked because it's hot and I never had anything with air conditioning before in my life. But anyway. That's it, we're gonna get to cleaning it up. Stay tuned for more about the Triple Pickle Oldsmobile. And as you can see here, I've got it running, but with this rag over top of the carburetor while it's running just to keep it going at a very high idle. We're gonna have to do some work on this one. Got it running a little bit. It runs enough to pull itself around. I've got a big vacuum leak or I probably need to rebuild that big quarter jet carburetor that's on that 455 big block that y'all so fond of. Anyway, let's look in the trunk. Look here. Came Chicago. We got the trunk lids rusty. No, it's solid though. Oh, don't that pretty. This is the true color of the, uh, over here you see the light still works in there. Original spare. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look how good that looks underneath there. How solid that trunk is. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to get this thing running, drive up and down the road here. In it. I'm in here at the Dollar Store. We're gonna get some car choke cleaner. We're gonna get some Dollar Store lubricant and some engine degreaser. Get you some of that. Uh, yeah, Shh, top secret in here at the dollar store. And uh, I'd rather play leapfrog with a unicorn than come into the dollar store, but here I am. Okay, a little live action on the fly. Look at this, don't look too bad. And uh, we had it running there a while ago, as you've seen, but it would not idle at all. So I've got the carburetor off of it. And uh, I dreaded, wait a minute. Look at Randy here. Yeah, rest easy, Randy. Mm -hmm. Shop dog. Uh, I've got the carburetor off and I've got it apart and it is in some kind of bad shape. I don't know if you can see this mess right here. Look at all that crap down in there. I've got soaking in Marvel Mystery Oil and transmission fluid and carb cleaner that I got from the Dallas stove. And I hate working on quadrant jets. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't know why I don't like them. They just fuzzed up stuff on here. That's bad. I don't know how it runs as good as it did. Anyway, I'm working on it. Hopefully we'll get it running pretty soon. And in the meantime, while I'm letting that soak, I'm having, I'm just gonna have one drink. But if the Lord wants me to have three drinks, then 10 it is. Okay, so we'll see you later. People say, shit, man, where do you find these low mileage cars at? I never, never, never stop looking. When I wake up in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee, coffee black cigarettes, start each day like all the rest, looking for these low mileage cars, and I found me another. Check the interior of this thing out.
It is so beautiful. Let's see, I got a lot. Uh oh. Yeah. Check that baby out. I ain't even cleaned it up yet. It has been sitting. It has been uh, neglected. The original owner died some time ago and uh, just been sitting around. But let's see. Let me put this light right here. Let's see if we can get the. Oh, look at this part of it. Did you get them GM original floor mats in there? Them green GM floor mats come this car when it was new? That's right. One thing that's kind of weird about, on a serious note, just going back and forth between being crazy shed man and being myself, the colonnade, I think this is part of it. It does have a B pillar here, but it does not have the frame around the window. So you've got a hard top and sedan. I don't know how many other cars are like that, but it does have the B pillar like a sedan would, but uh, the, uh, the doors doesn't have the, usually, uh, you know, like you see a sedan, it's got the frame around here and stuff like that. So I've never had a car like this before that was the colonnade style, and I guess that's what it is. Plus back here, if you see, you got this big window back here in the C-pillar area. That's for better visibility, I guess. I'm not a big fan of that, but it is something different. It's not bad at all. Under this top right here, this stuff is just peeling off like here. Just peeling off like nothing. And there's no rust underneath though, and hardly any glue. Look at this. Just coming off. And look right here. Usually, here's where they'll rust at. Under here, no rust. Good and solid underneath this. You know, you got your rust here on the top. You know, it's just where this primer they used back in those days, this gray primer, I don't know if it had a lot of zinc in it or whatever. The paint didn't stick to it too good. They didn't put a very thick coat of paint on it. And that's just the way it is. Over the top, the sun just bakes it off there. But there's no rust holes in this car. And uh, yeah, look here. This is always good when you get one of these. I'm real happy with this car. Here's a guy who bought it new. He's got all the paperwork here of all the stuff they've done to it. And I'm not gonna show you a lot of that, but got a, bought a battery from Kmart. Still got the original single exhaust on it. Uh, it's real quiet when it does run. And hopefully here soon we'll have a video of it running and maybe even driving, driving and doing some smoky tire burnouts. This vinyl top, like I said, that's easy to come off. I'm glad to see that. We'll make a video of me some relaxing vinyl top tearing off. Look at this, it just rolls up in your hand. Look at that, look at that. I'm getting it all on the inside. Who cares? It tastes like black licorice. Anyway, let's get back to getting back. I'm working on that carburetor. Okay, here's the story. Got the carburetor apart, cleaned it out best I could. I didn't take it completely apart. Did about a half-ass job on it. A little half-assedry. That's for a treasure charger there. Was involved. I always do a half-assedry on the first carburetor cleaning it out. Then I have to go back and do it again. And I really do a good job then. But anyway, yeah. I got it together. This has all been filmed in one day. Everything you're seeing here on this episode has been filmed in one day. Uh, got up in the morning, went out and looked at it, got it, blah, 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 brought it back. It didn't run where the hoop, wasn't aisle for nothing. Now we're going to try to see. Ain't no carburetor ever whooped my ass. Well, there was four carburetors one time on a KZ1000 that really put the Wattusi on me. And the Wattusi is kind of, it's, but anyway, I'm half drunk and I stole the money to buy this car. I don't have no money. I stole the money to buy this car out of my wife's sock drawer, and she's due home in about, I'm looking at the clock here, probably 20 minutes. So I'm a dead man walking, but we're gonna get this thing running before I do. Okay, here we go. I got Magnum PI in here trying to start this thing. And uh, I'm gonna try to adjust the carburetor as quick as I can, see if we can just get it to idle before it would not. You just had to wom, 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 keep idling it. We're gonna, I'm gonna, anyway, you know the story. Come on. Have you been watching the whole... I'm telling you what. I, I don't think I'm even going to do this video. Okay, let's do it. Crank it over. It, don't have, it hasn't been cranked over, so we're going to have to crank it over. Pump it!
I didn't hook the return spring up. Be right back. But it did start. You see, I believe it's going to work. All right, I got the return spring hooked up. Magnum over here tried to honk the horn while I was doing that. Too drunk for it to affect me. But anyway, uh, okay, screwdriver firing up again. No carburetor ever whoop my ass. Water jet, 455 deck block. Let's go. I'm confident enough to go down the road. Let's take it for a test drive. Oh shit, there comes my wife. I know what you're saying. You're saying, shit man, didn't you say you was drunk? This is YouTube. Am I or am I not? Hey! I done told you I play cards with J.D. Shellnut, Chief of Police. Let's go. Here we go. We're going down the road. I think I think it's a good time to mention this 455 big block. Yeah. What you got in it? Big block. Okay, yeah, whatever. Oh, I can feel the power, man. What a rush. Let's see, speedometer works. That's at a uh, low mileage. I'm digging it. This thing is going to be road ready with a set of tires. I do believe. I hope I can get the air conditioner working. That would be nice. We don't get too wild with it here. We're up to about oh, 50 miles an hour or so. Of course, it's going to be pouring the rain. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna be able to try it out the Oh yeah. We're gone. We're gone to build Daddy here. Carburetor seems to be doing good. We'll get on it here a little bit. Oh my! <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me, Susie Q. The triple pickle's back. The triple pickle's back, Jack. This is it. Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. I believe I've had it. No, it's a, it's a new one. Gosh, these wipers. Wet roads, but uh, <laughs> that's right, baby. I don't think I have the timing set exactly right. I got it a little bit retarded. More wiper mess. Hey, take her home, son.
Yeah, baby, Ruger, Sturm, Ruger and Company. We're doing a little bit of cleanup here right now. A little bit of that stuff we brought from the dollar stole on there. We're gonna clean it up, take another picture. That'll probably be the end of this video. Woo! Yeah. We got her cleaned up, got her ready to go. Triple pickle, wait a minute, that's only two pickles. That's not even pickles, they're just cucumbers. But you could put like, once you, anyway, look at this, we got it cleaned up. Look at the gold. It shines like gold. Look at this thing. Look at it. Oldsmobile. That's right. That's the new project. And it's just about done. I'm just going to put some tires on it. And I'm going to drive it. I'm going to get this air conditioning working because it is hot. Whew. It's gotten, getting hot in here. I'm going to take off all my cloak. No, I'm not going to do that. That, that's on my uh, OnlyFans page there that I that I do that. But anyway, here it is. Check it out. Like, subscribe, and uh, send me some love. Comment. You know anything about these Oldsmobiles? Let me know. And uh, till then, we'll see you next time on the Shed Show.